Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I will show you how to import large.csv file into a SQLite database. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in order to demonstrate this example, I have downloaded a large CSV file from uh, the website I will show you here. Actually I downloaded the file from the New York City taxi and limousine commission because they have provided some trip data for uh, from actually 2009 till 2017 okay so here you can see some trip data for yellow taxi green taxi and f arch v taxis also so me i have chosen this file here i have downloaded as you can see in my desktop it's almost 800 megabytes okay so first of all let's actually try to open this file with up with the labor office and see the fields that it contains okay so I will try to open it using labor office as you can see here so we know it's a comma separated fields file as you can see an example of the data here so i will hit ok in order to import it so of course it will take some times depending on your machine and how much uh, memory that you have actually so as you can see here in this uh, screenshot i got this warning the data could not be loaded completely because the maximum number of rows per sheet was exceeded. This is normal because it's such a huge file. So if I hit OK, the data will be loaded, but not completely. OK, here we go. Now we can see actually the fields that this file contains. So here we have vendor ID. Actually, the vendor ID describes the company that sells uh, taxi meters. We have the pickup date and time the drop of date and time passenger count okay some other data here for example tip amount and the mile edge also so if we go to the bottom to see how many lines we get here okay it's over 1 million lines that we got here so it's such a huge file it's a good example for our actual exercise so let's try to import this huge file into our sqlite database so i will just close this rep office here okay so i will go to my desktop so let's create a simple uh, database I will just call it, for example, New York City. .db. Okay. So now, in order to import this huge file here that you can see in my uh, desktop, it's pretty in, it's pretty easy. We first have to choose the mod, which is CSV. Okay. Then we import. We use the import command. Not to forget the dot before import okay now we have to provide the name of our file so it's yellow because we are getting data from yellow taxi trip data and for the year 2017 for the month of january okay it's csv file and here after that we provide the name of the table so uh, we just make it like for example trip data so as you can see here i didn't actually create the table the table will be created or the structure of the table will be created automatically by the import command so i will hit enter so of course it will take some time you see here on my desktop it has created the New York City database and the journal has been created so it's such a huge file so it will actually take some time in order to uh, 
fill in the table so we will wait for that okay now it's finished it's almost took three minutes in order to import the data so let's see actually if the table has been created so I'll execute the command tables and indeed the trip data table has been created let's see the schema of this table so I'll just type schema trip data and here you see all the fields that actually inside my table and remember I didn't create it it was created automatically by the import command okay so now let's display some uh, lines or record from this table so I will use simple select command select all from trip data so I will limit that to just uh, 10 lines because it's such a huge file here we go now you can see actually 10 records from the file let's count how many lines does this table contains so I will do select also select count it will take some time of course because it has so many records from trip data and remember even our table is not indexed so of course when I execute uh, SQL statements it will take some time but important is that we have actually imported a huge CSV file into our SQL or SQLite database okay as you can see here we have actually 9 million records in our table here you can even execute uh, any SQL statement that you want in order to query this database so that was just a brief introduction tip if you have such a big CSV file and you want to import it to your SQLite database as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing Bye-bye.